Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and Crypto.com has a new DeFi swap site on the Ethereum blockchain where you can swap tokens and participate in liquidity pools. You can also boost your rewards by staking CRO tokens. So let's take a look at how this all works. Okay, so I'm over here on the blog page on the announcement of the uh, DeFi swap site. It's a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange where you can trade tokens from your own wallet. So it's highly secure. It also allows you to participate in the liquidity pools so that you can provide liquidity. And by doing so, you gain a portion of the trading fees on this. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I'll put a link to this down in the description below where you can check out more about this. All the details are down here on the bonuses and the yields and how you can start farming. Uh, there's also some great incentives for staking CRO within this to boost your rewards. So uh, I invite you to check out all of the details of that. Uh, also, uh, they have announced that there are some new staking terms that are available. The uh, previous staking terms were one to four years. So now they've also made available uh, one month staking terms. For those of us with a short attention span, that's all pretty cool. So I'll put a link to both of these blogs down in the description below so that you can check out more of the details on this. So uh, unfortunately, there are a number of countries that are not eligible. Uh, there's a list here in the official blog announcement. Unfortunately, the United States is one of them, but I know I have a lot of viewers all over the world. So for those of you who are in the participating jurisdictions, uh, I'll put links to all of these down in the description below. All right, so let's head over to the DeFi website for crypto.com. We're just going to tick these off here. We'll hit next. So you can see you've got your controls up here. Um, if you want to swap tokens, you'll just pick a token. There's a lot of tokens out there to uh, choose from. So in order to do this, though, you're going to need to connect your own wallet. So we'll just hit connect wallet here. And they have two choices here, uh, MetaMask and Wallet Connect. So I'll be using MetaMask today. Uh, if you're not aware, MetaMask is a web browser extension that you can use to manage cryptocurrency. I have a great video, uh, a recent video for 2020 on how you set up the MetaMask wallet. I'll direct you up in the corner there uh, to check out that video uh, to get you started. Uh, so you see there, I've loaded up my MetaMask wallet with some ETH and some Tether. But in order to do this boost, I want to put a little CRO in there. So let me show you how that would work. It's fairly straightforward. All right, so I'm just going to run over to crypto.com. We'll launch our crypto.com app. And you can see in my accounts that I have some uh, crypto.com coins and CRO. So let's put it in our MetaMask wallet so we'll have access to it so that we can do this boost. So uh, let's uh, just go over to the MetaMask wallet. And I'm just going to click on these three dots over here on the side and choose account details. That's going to give me that QR code for this uh, MetaMask wallet, which is an Ethereum based wallet. All right. So uh, now I'm just going to tap on crypto.com coin. I'm going to choose transfer and I'm going to withdraw it from crypto.com. All right. I'm going to withdraw to an external wallet. And I've never used this wallet before with Crypto.com, so I'm going to need to whitelist it. So I'm going to hit the plus up there in the top right corner. And then I'll tap that little QR code icon on my phone, which will launch my camera. And then I can just scan that QR code and the Ethereum address autofills for me. One thing you do have to be careful of, though, I noticed that it put the word Ethereum at the beginning. Some QR codes are like that. So we're going to need to edit that field a bit and just erase that. We want the address to start with zero X. All right. And then I'll just call this my brave MetaMask and then I'll hit continue. All right. I'm going to provide my two factor authentication from my Google authenticator. Slide back over here. We'll tap paste that in. Hit continue. All right. Now crypto.com is going to send me an email 
to confirm on this. I'll just wait for that email to come in. There it is. I'll go ahead and tap on the email and then once the email is loaded, I'll hit confirm withdrawal address. Let's go back to Chrome. That takes me right back to the withdrawal interface and you can see right there I've got my uh, wallet address listed. So I'll just hit withdrawal CRO and then up in the edit field uh, when I tap I can uh, choose max which is down there at the bottom. I'll tap that under the withdrawal button. I'll tap withdraw and then I'll confirm that and then uh, provide my two-factor one more time and we'll hit continue. And there we go. We withdrew our CRO. Uh, then we can just wait uh, for that CRO to arrive in our wallet. We will need to add the token though. So let's hit add token and then we'll type CRO. All right, there it is. Uh, we'll just add that to our MetaMask wallet. Hit add tokens. The balance is still zero. It hasn't come in yet. So we'll just hang out and wait for that. And that way we'll have all three tokens in our wallet when we now of course you can put uh, all kinds of different tokens in your wallet there are uh, there are a limited a number of tokens that you can uh, swap on this platform okay the blog article has a list of all of the tokens that are available for swap there are some new ones that have been recently added you might want to check those out they've recently added uni farm swerve and Ren. So uh, they're adding new tokens to this platform uh, pretty regularly. So you might want to check that out. All right, so now you can see that I've got uh, all three of these tokens in here. Now, all you need to do to use this uh, decentralized exchange is to connect to your wallet. So I'm just going to choose connect to wallet. And this is going to connect the DeFi website directly to my wallet. Now, this is not a security risk. Any transactions that go out of the wallet need to be approved by you, the user. So it's a very secure way to trade cryptocurrencies. Let's hit MetaMask. Alrighty, there we go. Uh, gives us a choice of accounts that we want to connect with in our MetaMask. Uh, this is the one that I want to use, so it's already ticked. I'll just hit Next, and then we'll hit Connect. And there we go. Now the wallet is connected. So you can see the balance there is showing up. The balance of my Ethereum. Uh, we can just double check that if we launch it over here on the side. Uh, you can see there that that is the, the correct Ethereum balance there, 0.2742. All right, so now we're set. So if we want to trade, all we need to do is start with a token that we have, right? They've got the tokens up here. Uh, we could trade these tokens for other tokens if we want to. So, for example, I could take some Ethereum and then use that to purchase uh, some uh, LINK token if I wanted to. I can use uh, part of my Ethereum. Alrighty there, and then I just click Swap, and I will uh, pay 0.2 Ethereum for uh, 0.6 LINK, right? Uh, when we hit Confirm Swap, it's going to launch your MetaMask wallet, and then you'll be able to confirm that. Keep an eye on these gas fees. The Ethereum network is charging pretty high gas fees right now, so you want to keep an eye on that. Uh, I'm not going to go through with this one. Just wanted to give you a demo. All right, but you could do that with any of the tokens that you own. So it's a great way to trade. Uh, it's secure and it's private. There's no KYC for trading on decentralized exchanges. Your personal information is not at risk when you use decentralized exchanges. And that's just swapping, right? So the next feature of a decentralized exchange is participating in a liquidity pool. So you can add liquidity by clicking this button and you'll choose your token that you want to use. Uh, we can use ETH and Tether if we want to. And as you can see there, I've got uh, a little bit of each. Uh, I would probably want to do 50 all right just as an experiment we're going to need to approve uh, tether on this so we'll click that so we're going to pay a small fee to do that we'll hit confirm all right and that confirmed so now we've got the tether approved all right and once that goes through we can uh, now supply the liquidity so basically with a liquidity pool is you're depositing your cryptocurrencies into a liquidity pool 
each trading pair needs a liquidity pool. So you can participate in that by, uh, by depositing an equal amount of both of the two that are in this trading pair. So in my example, I'm using Ethereum and Tether. There are a lot of other trading pairs out there that you could use depending on the cryptocurrency that you have and that you want to uh, deposit. Uh, but this is just an example. So I'm gonna hit supply here. All right, and then they're going to issue me liquidity pool tokens. All right, so I'll hit confirm there. All right, and I'm also going to need to pay the gas fees on this. Keep in mind, uh, only pay the gas fees that you're willing to use. I'm just using this one as an example. I'm gonna hit confirm. And the transaction is submitted onto the Ethereum blockchain. Take it a few minutes to clear. All right, and that cleared pretty quickly. All right, so now we can just back out a little bit. All right, and there now you can see uh, the liquidity that you're providing. Now, the cool thing about the Crypto.com DeFi is this boost feature. So I can boost my liquidity pool earnings by staking CRO up to 20 times yield. And like I said, they've added the one month feature now, so you can do that. Uh, or if you're willing to stake up to four years, you're gonna get that 20 times yield. So that's pretty cool. So I'll go ahead and uh, stake and earn on this, just as an example. So in order to do this, you're gonna need at least a thousand CRO, and you saw me put about 50 bucks in there. So a uh, thousand is really only like 150, 200 bucks. Not a big deal. And of course, if you want to maximize your rewards, you would stake more of your CRO in order to maximize those rewards. So I just wanted to give you a quick overview of this um, to get you started. You'll probably want to stake a little more in order to maximize your rewards and uh, put in as much CRO as you can in order to boost up those rewards even more. So they have a nice little uh, calculator over here for uh, calculating your annual percentage yield on these. So a lot of great features on the Crypto.com DeFi swap. I uh, invite you to check it out. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.